denial, you set yourself up to constantly be hurt. So the guy in prison, he looks at it, okay, this is it for life, 23 hours in the cell. What, how does this thing work? Can I paint? Can I read? Can I write? Can I get on the internet? What can I do? based on this reality. Okay, now assess this reality. Okay, I could paint, I could read, I could write, I can send mail out, I could do this. Cool. This is how this reality works. Okay, now I, this is what I want from it. I want to do my poetry, I want to paint. I want to exercise. And then, okay, based on how this works, what I want, how do I make this reality serve me? Freedom is operating, in operation. You can drop me in a rice field in Taiwan and I'm going to use this universal approach to life. I'm going to say, okay, how does the reality work? All right, I'm in this rice field. Don't nobody look like me and I don't know what I'm doing here. And I'm watching how this is. Somebody speak English? How does this thing work? Okay, now based on what I understand and how it works, what do I want? I want to get back to something familiar to me, to Hartford. So now based on this understanding, and I know what I want, now my, my, it's my responsibility to now figure out how to make this reality serve me. If we're in the forest, there's lions and tigers and bears, things that will kill us every day, intentionally and unintentionally. If we don't understand certain berries are poisonous, we're going to die. You just can't run around eating any kind of berries talking about that's how you exercise your freedom. Because you will die. You can't just, if your three-year-old start playing with a, a baby tiger cub and you don't have the wherewithal to understand that that mother is nearby and that mother comes and rips your three-year-old in half. And like here in America, they go hunting for the mother who ripped the three-year-old in half and then kill the mother like, no, that, that's living in denial. If, if you don't come out of that understanding that if you see any kind of cub, any animal, it's your best, you need to move out the area. In life, no matter where we go, there are written rules and there are understood rules. And we gonna, if we don't know what they are, we're going to either learn what they are or we're going to die, period. For me, America is just another force. There are people who are out to kill us every day. That's just reality about this thing. There's how, that how this system works. See, the, the way I look around here in this reality, the, I could spend my entire life worried about driving and getting, and, and getting murdered. Because that's the reality of this thing, but that's not how I, I choose to live. So I understand this reality the way it is. I assess it. The other part of how I see this reality and freedom in America is I kind of remove myself from this race-based thinking as much as possible. Because everybody and everything here can serve me. I just have to know what I want. In every relationship we're in, if we ever feel used, it's only because we went into the interaction not knowing what we wanted. They knew what they wanted. And they didn't use you. You felt used because you didn't know what you wanted out of the interaction. That's just a perspective. It's not necessarily the truth. So. When I look at this thing, freedom from a universal place, it's just a basic universal approach. Understand the reality that we're in to the best of our ability and reality. You can't be in denial. Decide what we want from that reality and then figure out how to make that reality serve us. We struggle because the civil rights movement taught us that our standard for what is best for us and freedom is white people and what they are or aren't doing. So when we look on social media, it's 
you cannot look without us complaining about white people. And it's, it's almost like complaining about birds that fly. See, 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 that bird used its wings to fly again. Okay, you haven't figured out that that's what birds do. I'm good. I, I, I'm not going to beef with you about it. But I do know it won't be in my best interest to be interacting with you when it comes to understanding the nature of things, because you haven't figured out the nature of birds. If I believe in racism, and, and, and you know, I've, I've gotten smashed for this constantly, and it's okay. In order for me to believe in racism, then I have to ignore the reality of our historical relationship with white people. And I say white people in general. And I'm comfortable with generalizing, because white people always challenge me on that. I'm comfortable with generalizing, because white people showed me what they do when they get upset if something goes down they don't like. During, the, for instance, the O.J. Simpson case. When they didn't like that verdict, I learned how they behave when something goes down that they don't like. And I'm talking about a nation of white people. So once you showed me that, and now I see a police officer shoot a man in the back five times that's running away, and I don't see the same outrage, you cool with that. It's, it's fair for me to understand that, in general, you've accepted you're OK with that. Because you showed me outrage when you think something that happened ain't right. So I'm comfortable with the generalization that the nature, what we're watching is the nature of the behavior of white people when it comes to our interaction with them. This is the only way I can explain it. No matter how far back I go in history, I can't find any other behavior. This is how it's always been. So now, if you try to teach me that that's racism, then you're also trying to teach me that when birds fly, that's birdism. If you want me to come to a meeting to resolve racism, then you're trying to get me to come to a meeting to talk about how we can stop birds from using their wings. Now, I'm, that's, that's not sexy to me. I'm not attending that meeting. So we have to, when we're assessing our situation, we have to deal with reality. If we do not deal with reality, it, it throws everything out of whack. And so when, Martin, when the Civil Rights Movement taught us that white people were our standard and that our understanding of freedom is to be equal to them, that was a continuation of, of a certain amount of insanity. Um, that's just a perspective. It's not necessarily the truth. I have to always say that. Because it never makes sense to want to be equal to anybody on any level for any reason, ever. We are all brought into this universe with our own assignment. And if I'm over there looking at yours, trying to be equal to yours, then I'm missing my own assignment. And the only thing I can do is be of service to you, because you're on top of your assignment. That's it. So in our demand for freedom, we confirmed that we were out of our natural minds because our demand never included we want to reconnect with our universal foundation, historical, cultural, spiritual foundation that we come from. And it's not running around in Africa doing African dances and playing the drums. It's, it's about the essence, the foundation that allowed a country, uh, 54 countries, to have thousands of different languages and different ways of life. But the foundation they moved from was universal laws, principles, and understanding. And that's what it's really about. It's not, and, but the other thing I have to say is if I take a bird's eye view and I look at Switzerland, don't nobody there look like me. And I look over there in some of these other places, and then when I look at Africa, I look very familiar to a lot of those people there, just in general. And when I look at Brazil historically, I look familiar to a lot of people. When I look at 
Australia historically, I look familiar to a lot of people there. So I don't have to do, you know.